Happy Thursday, Fairview. Thank you once again for tuning in as we continue to look at the Psalms. Today, we will be continuing Psalm 78, starting in verse 40, going through 58. So if you do have a Bible or device, I encourage you to follow along. If not, uh, that's great. I'll, I'll read it aloud, and we'll just meditate on God's Word together. Psalm 78, starting in verse 40. How often they provoked him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power, the day when he redeemed them from the enemy, when he worked his signs in Egypt and his wonders in the field of Zoan. Turned their rivers into blood and their streams that they could not drink. He sent swarms of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He also gave their crops to the caterpillar and their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. He also gave up their cattle to the hail and their flocks to fiery lightning. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble. By sending angels of destruction among them, he made a path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from death, but gave their life over to the plague and destroyed all the firstborn of Egypt, the first of their strength in the tents of Ham. But he made his own people go forth like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely, so that they did not fear. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies, and he brought them to his holy border, this mountain which his right hand had acquired. He also drove out the nations before them, allotted them an inheritance by survey, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tested and provoked the Most High God, and did not keep his testimonies. But turned back and acted unfaithfully like their fathers, they were turned aside like a deceitful bow. For they provoked him to anger and their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your word. I thank you that um, when you tell us the events of history and how you see them unfold, how you guided your people. Um, we just take comfort that you are in control, that we have um, evidence after evidence of events, that you are working history for your goal. We thank you for this, Father. We would ask that you'd open our eyes and allow us to see the truth you have left for us. That says in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Just a couple highlights here. Um, I'm sure that sounded familiar to most of us as uh, the psalmist is recounting the events of the plagues of Egypt and the liberation of the Israelites from their bondage there. But just a couple highlights that we'd like to look at here as he's talking about uh, God laying out the fierceness of his anger, wrath, indignation, and trouble, as verse 49 says. And it goes through, it retells the entire account of the floods and the um, frogs and locusts. But one thing that is really, really catching, caught my attention as I read through this was 42. They did not remember his power the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. And it just shows how God works. That when he redeems his people and he keeps his people safe, he does not break his covenants that he has promised, that there's destruction in the world all around. That God levels the blow against those who have kindled his anger, but he keeps his people safe and in his hand. And what a great remembrance for us as we look forward into the world that God is laying justice where he sees fit and he is protecting those who are his. Take care. Be blessed this week. Thank you very much again for tuning in and we'll see you next week as we continue Psalm 78.